Freddy. Item number, SCP-5783. Object class, Keter. Previously safe. Special Containment Procedures. Note. Below were the original containment procedures, before change. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5783 is allowed to go to any site, depends on his boss, for two days longer if needed. SCP-5783 is allowed to interact with any given SCP it had been assigned to. Below are the actual containment procedures. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5783 has to be contained in a humanoid containment cell, away from any technology. Guards always have to be armed, and watching SCP-5783 at all times. If SCP-5783 is shut down, it has to be turned on very quickly. If SCP-5783 connects to any type of servers, the Foundation will have to shut down to prevent any containment breaches. Description SCP-5783 is a robot produced by the Chaos Insurgency. It stands about 6 feet and weighs about 220 pounds. SCP-5783 is capable of hacking into servers. SCP-5783 was discovered after SCP-Blank's containment cell opened. The Foundation found SCP-5783 hacking the server to unlock the cell. The Foundation gunned SCP-5783, but two men were killed after the Foundation killed him. SCP-5783 was taken after he was destroyed. The Foundation rebuilt SCP-5783 with a new body and a new chip, so he can be friendly to use. Addendum 5783-1 Below is an interview with SCP-5783 with Dr. Blank, a few months before the breach. Dr. Blank, how do you feel? SCP-5783 How do I feel? I don't feel any emotions. Dr. Blank Okay, what do you think of the SCPs you have studied? SCP-5783 They are very interesting. Those SCPs seem nice, I love how they are very unique with powers. Oh, anomalous properties, as you call them. Dr. Blank Okay, last question. The Foundation saw you acting strange. SCP-5783 Me? Acting strange? I am not strange, I am fine. Addendum 5783-2 Below is what SCP-5783 did to cause the containment breach. SCP-5783 went to site blank to interview SCP-3994. While in the middle of the interview, SCP-5783 had an error and attacked Agent Blank. SCP-5783 almost killed Agent Blank, but SCP-5783 was turned off and taken for repairs. When Agent Blank went back to see how the engineer was, he found a struggle to the death and SCP-5783 gone. A few days later, there was a massive containment breach when SCP-5783 hacked the control board for Site-19, releasing all SCPs. 143 people were killed, and 47 were injured. SCP-5783 was stopped after Agent Blank sacrificed himself to turn on the SCP, and it took a couple of days to contain back the other SCPs. SCP-5783 went to containment cell, so no one else can get hurt. Addendum 5783-3 This is an interview with SCP-5783 after the containment breach with Researcher Blank. Researcher Blank, how do you feel? SCP-5783 I remember when another person said this to me. Anyway, I feel happy. Researcher Blank how do you feel happiness? I thought you had no emotion. SCP-5783 I'm not gonna fucking tell you unless you're an SCP. Researcher Blank Did you know there are other SCPs like you? SCP-5783 Funny you ask me that. SCP-096 He should die. I'm the only one that should be running around. Researcher Blank Okay, sorry. SCP-5783 You better say sorry. Researcher Blank Why did you release all of the SCPs? SCP-5783 
All SCPs should be free, except the ones that are not powerful enough. Researcher blank. What would you do with these useless ones? SCP-5783. I will kill them. Okay, you're pissing me off. I don't want to talk to you anymore. SCP-5783 went back to his containment cell.